Hello and welcome. I think that it is time for tips and tricks number five. And in this little video, I will tie on uh, three wings and three hackles and in different colors. So uh, let's just start. And here I put on one of these uh, body hackle that we tied in the second tips and tricks where we tried the various ways of putting on the body hackle so I just put one of this on my vise and uh, I'm gonna use the olive thread 12-0 from Ferdinand Flies because that one is matching the colors the most and I thought that we would start to tie a really bright one and I will tie one in more discreet colors too. So the first wing is a fluorescent yellow on this one. So I just tape the first wing a little bit by pulling in the middle and then we'll tie them the, in about as long as the tail and quite wide and this turn pull down one two three four five hard turns and then we adjust it that looks pretty good I think and the first wing is always the fattest one and so this is the most hair and the second wing is less hair and the third wing is the one with the least strands in it. So we just tidy up a bit here. Like so. And now I will put on a few Alta Gold Angel hair strands. <laughs> Not like that. fell off, I have to find a new one, and then spread it over the entire wing, fold it over, two turns, and look so you have the strands spread on top of the wing. a little bit longer and then we we'll go on to wing number two which on this fly is a chartreuse color so it gets a lot brighter here take away some more fluff than on the first wing Taper this one too. Like this. And this is going to be a little bit longer than the first one. So I'm going to put it here. And this wing we will spread on top of the yellow. So it hopefully will cover the whole uh, yellow wing. Five turns. And it looks good. As you can see, the chartreuse goes down to the yellow edge on both sides here. So that's what I want to do with this fly, is to get the wing to tie on after the first wing to cover all of the, the first wing you tied in. So, and now I will use Greenlander Green 
Angel Hair. Song wide two. One turn. Fold them over. Two turns. That's good, I think. So cut them off in different length. And that check so that the tail is in the middle underneath the wings because if you get everything uh, symmetrical here the, the fly will swim much better in the water <clears throat> sometimes if you tie it in a little off the fly will swim on the side or something so be, be um, thorough when you tie stuff in so you get everything on, on top uh, symmetrically. And now I will take some glue to lock in these two wings and then we will tie on two of the hackles. We'll start with the big bright yellow one like this this green highlander ish fly is going to be brighter than the next one I will tie. So I'll lock that in on my side. And my heckle plier. <coughs> strands back and make the first turn as close to the short shell's hair as possible. And then we go a little bit forward for the second turn. Scale up on this ugly lump. And then after that turn we go down in front. this and we lock that in two three four five cut off the stem then <coughs> my little comb that the hackle sits nicely and to untangle the strands and I think it looks really good so far and now we're going to put on a short thrust hackle so that's two wings and the second hackle and this one will be shorter strands than the and the yellow hackle and cut a little triangle and this hackle we wind on as tight as we can to the first hackle bobbin holder in my hand and pull back the strands Side, lock that in. Two, three, four, five. Now let's see how this one ended up. With a little comb. On 
untangle it. Check, it looks good. And now we're gonna cover this wing in a fiery brown wing and then put on jungle coat feathers and last we'll put on a little dark green front tackle. So this should be just a few strands and of course a little bit longer than the shelter swing. So I'll take away some of the fluff and shorter strands. Tape with this Good length. We try to spread this also. And loose turn. Pull down. One, two, three, four, five. Fold this back a little bit. And then I will run a comb through it. This gets to fly a little darker back just like this, not many strands, because if we tie on too much materials the fly will not swim as good. But I think this looks really nice. A few strands down on my side. That. And cut this off. to the jungle cock and I want those to be almost as long as the body. I'll take two nice looking ones. Like that. Put them next to each other so they're the same length. Then we measure, then I take away the strands from where I want to tie it in. But I use some strands of the feather when I tie it in because I think it's easier to get it to sit right. I curve it a little bit over my fingernail and tie the first one in on my side with quite loose turns because I want to be able to adjust it. That looks really good. And I hope that this one is as easy to tie in. Put it on the other side. Same length and in the same spot. Turns. Check from the top if they are the same length. Yep. I'm happy with that. And now I will put on a little bit of glue to lock in the fiery brown wing and the jungle cock stems. And then I make loose turns because the glue will secure them, cut off the stems, like this, and now we will put on the last hackle, which is a small darker green one. Get a little different 
colors and to finish it off so we can put on a turbo tungsten cone head. Hackle player again. Oops. Almost got away from me. And make the first turn as close to the fire brown wing you can. And the second turn, a little bit in front. Still up on the little red head. And then we go down on the extra small tubing and make the last turns there. It's always good to grab a hold of the hackle when you have turned. And if you made the turn, if the hackle stem breaks, you can just hold on to the hackle. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now we check. Our last hackle ended up. Looks pretty good. Tungsten turbo cone head in gold, if I can find one that's extra small in size. I can't find one, so I'm gonna go with a copper one. As you all know, copper is my favorite. So if I can't find the ones I'm looking for, I usually end up with a copper. But the copper goes very well with the fire brown top wing. So on this fly, I think it's doable. It doesn't look weird. And then I put glue on the thread. And I try to make the turns on top of each other. So we can hide this little thread head with a turbo tungsten comb head. I'm gonna take Niklas Bauer's pipe tube in orange so I can find it better. I grab a hold of the fly and I just push the comb head in like this. Cut off the thread, take the fly out of the vise, and check so everything landed in the middle. And I think this looks really good with the spread. The fiery brown wing on top looks good also. So I'm very happy with this fly, I don't think that I will be able to fish it because it's quite big, it's uh, uh, 10.5, 11 centimeters. So this was just to show how you tie on different colors of the wing and three hackles to match these colors. So the first wing is the fattest, the second one is a little bit uh, less hair and the third one is just a thin roof and the taper gets really good on these kind of flies. So 
so I will bring this, but I don't think that I will tie this on my leader because I don't think that there will be so much water. But if the water rises, I will definitely fish this one. Melt down, cut it off, save two, two and a half millimeters. And then I put it on the vise again, to get a good hole. So I can use thicker leaders if I want to. Let's put it back. And yeah, that's not too shabby. I think it looks quite good. The jungle cock ended up very nice. So here it is. And the tail sits in the middle. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was a fun time and uh, I really love how these uh, colors look together. And I tied this very bright and in the next one I will use a more discreet yellow and a more green color and a little more discreet yellow hackle and I will see if I can find some dark green hackle and, and just end it with a small uh, grizzly dark green hackle. So I hope you enjoyed this tie and uh, if you want I would be really happy if you followed my YouTube channel and then you just have to click this uh, picture of me holding a fish here and if you want to see a new or an old film tied by me just click here and uh, I will see you soon again thank you very much for watching and uh, goodbye